Hello everyone, this is Ken with Power Source Electric and today we're going to talk about three-way switches. A three-way switch is simply a switch that can be operated at two different locations. Um, you can flip it on in one spot, flip it off in the other spot. Um, either way you can flip the light off and on and um, it's really a basic switch. It's not too complicated. Um, it's you know a little bit more complex than a single pole switch. Single pole switch being you flip it on at one location. You know, you walk in a room, you flip on the light, that's the only place you can turn it off and on. Three-way switch, you can turn it off and on in two different locations. So that is the definition of a three-way switch. You can turn it off and on at two locations. We're going to take a look at what a three-way switch looks like. Um, I'm going to show you what the wire connections are to your three-way switch. Um, but best of all, the, what I could say, if you're going to replace a three-way switch, uh, if you got one that's bad or you're changing the color, um, you're going to want to put the wires right back on the same way you took them off. And um, I'm going to show you what the different screws, uh, the screw colors mean, um, what uh, connection you make to each uh, screw on your three-way switch. Um, but for the most part, um, when you take it off, you want to put it back on the same way. Um, because we're here in a, in a home, um, there's basically, when we talk about power wires, there's only two different colors. There's red and there's black. And um, so sometimes we have electricians will use a, a little trick to determine which wire is uh, going to what location. We might um, twist the wires together and say these two wires go together and this wire is separate and an electrician knows what that means. Um, so it's not, it's not an easy determination of I can say the purple wire goes here and the yellow wire goes there because we're only dealing with black and red and um, sometimes they have three or four different locations and an electrician can look in a box and say okay I know where this goes because the previous electrician um, you know twisted the wires in this way he did this and that's the way electricians work uh, we pretty much all work the same and uh, it's just a rule of thumb for us but let's take a look at what a three-way switch looks like in the different parts of it okay so we're taking a tour around our three-way switch this is a three-way switch it looks just like a single pole switch from the front um, but all the magic happens right in the back. So we're going to take a look here on the side. Um, you're going to notice there's two screws. One is black and one is bronze. Um, we're going to go over to the other side here. And we're going to notice there's another bronze screw and then there's a green screw. On that green screw you'll see that our ground is connected um, to our switch and that's protecting us um, so that metal housing doesn't come in contact with electricity. If it does it's going to trip the breaker. Uh, but you'll notice that we have two bronze screws. We'll get a little closer look here. Bronze screw here. And we'll come around to the other side. Bronze screw there. That is for our travelers. Our traveler wires are connected to that bronze screw. Down here at our black screw, that's going to be where our common wire is connected. So if you look inside the box, we're going to take a look right inside the box. You'll see that the neutral, the white wires, they're just twisted together, uh, wire nutted off, and that, that wire just passes right through. The white wire is not connected to the um, switch at all. Um, then you'll notice that we have two black wires and a red wire. Up at the top our travelers are red and black. Red and black. Now the electrician that um, put this switch in um, indicated travelers when he was making the box up by twisting them together. If you notice that the black and the red are twisted together and that the black wire from underneath is not in that twist. So that's indicating to me, me as an electrician, I'm looking at this box saying, all right, I see my common. It's not connected with my two travelers, and I know that that's my common. So that's how we would indicate, um, or you'd be able to tell where those wires are. The two twisted ones, now it might not always happen that way. Um, maybe an electrician got a little lazy, didn't twist them together. Um, but you'll see them coming out of the same jacket of uh, Romex. They're usually connected together. You're going to see two wires coming through in one jacket. And the other wire, your common wire, is just going to have the white and the black in it. So that's how we would indicate where our common wire is. But very simple. All it is, all this means is now I can turn the switch off and on and operate it from two locations. Okay, now that we've taken a look at what a three-way switch looks like, I want to give you a uh, description. I'm just going to write it on a piece of paper, show it to you, um, what each one of these screws means. And um, it might help you maybe if you have to troubleshoot it yourself or maybe you didn't mark the wire and you're wondering what each wire goes to in the three-way switch. 
just a simple drawing of how a three-way switch is actually wired. Okay, now I've made my drawing. It's just a kindergarten drawing on a piece of paper. But um, the three poles uh, represent the screw terminals for power wires. Okay, so you'll see three. Uh, looks like it's in a triangle shape. That's the switch with the red box around it. And that's telling us that we have three connections on each switch. This is two different switches. Okay, now I've labeled them a little bit. Now you can see where um, these connections are going. And um, we're going to start off with the common. You'll see down at the bottom, um, one of the common um, terminals on the switch goes up to the power. Uh, that's the power coming into the switch, the feed that's coming from uh, the branch circuit. The other common on the other switch is going to go up to the light. So one of the switches will have power coming to the common. One of the switches will have um, a common that goes up to the light, which we call a switch leg. So that's what that looks like. And um, again, we're just dealing with um, the power uh, wires only. And uh, so there, that's where those two locations are. Okay, getting back to, um, we have our three uh, locations. I took the box off of it just so we could see a little bit better there. Uh, but we have our two common wires. One has power coming to it. One goes up to the light. Now our two other um, our two other screws that are set up there, and they can be different colors. Sometimes they'll have um, two silver screws for your travelers, which are the wires that go from one switch to the other switch. Uh, sometimes they'll be uh, bronze, sometimes they'll be black, sometimes the common will be black, sometimes the common will be bronze. Um, but you're going to have a, a one um, screw terminal that's going to be a different color. So two of them will be the same, one will be different. The one that is different will be the common uh, terminal, whether it's power, whether it's switch leg. Uh, you see up in the other two terminals, they simply go between the switch. They travel from one switch to the now other switch. Now back to our drawing, we see our power wire coming in from our common. It goes right into our common. Um, you'll see an illustration of the connection inside the switch, the dotted line going up to the traveler. Um, then it comes across to the other traveler, goes down, and it comes up to the light. That, um, that, that's indicating that the switch is in the on position because you can see the flow of electricity. It goes from power up to the traveler, comes back off the traveler, and around to the light fixture. The next drawing we have uh, shows the common um, from the power and the common going up to the switch leg. Uh, this time we've changed the uh, direction of the switch. The dotted line is going from the power up to the um, traveler. The traveler goes across, but it's not connected to the switch leg. So that means that this light is in the off position. So that's what that would look like. All right, so we've taken a look at a three-way switch. We know how it works. We know that um, the different parts, the different wires that come in, we have a common on each switch. We have travelers on each switch. And, um, and that's pretty much how it works. You know, there's not too much to it. Uh, one thing that I want to um, uh, let you know again, or a reminder, is uh, we didn't talk about the neutral or the um, ground in those drawings. The ground is going to go, each switch has its own ground. There's a green ground screw and that is uh, where the bare wire goes to or the green wire goes to directly to the switch. Uh, that protects you from the metal housing getting electrical charge on it and then um, causing someone to get electrocuted by touching the switch. It's very important to have the ground attached. Uh, also the neutral. The neutral just passes through the switch. Um, you notice in the switch box the neutral is just tied together. It goes um, from the light fixture down to the neutral. The neutral travels across um, to the power side of the switch and it attaches to the, um, the power uh, feed coming in, um, that neutral wire that comes in with it. Uh, at no time does a neutral attach to the switch at all. Um, the white wires just simply wire that together and they pass through. Um, they're not connected to the box at all. But that was just a reminder that um, we were talking about the um, power uh, wire connections in the drawings and if you have any other questions about three-way switches if you um, if you didn't get it if you have uh, a suggestion that I could make more clear please contact us contact me you can um, Twitter me you can get me on Twitter you can get me by email you can uh, check out my Facebook page post a question um, but I'd like to hear from you I'd like to know um, if this was helpful to you and um, and again Thanks for coming to our site, powersourcetutorials.com, and I look forward to hearing from you.